Hi guys, welcome back to my amazing kitchen. My name is Abba. In today's video, we are making some very simple and delicious fried sea bream. This is so easy to make and super delicious. So come along and let's get right into it. So I bought some super fresh sea bream from the fish market and so you can already tell that this is going to be very delicious. It is partially cleaned and so I'm going to finish off the cleaning by cutting off the fins, the tail and everything else that I don't want to have on my fish, alright? So after cutting off the fins, I'm going to cut off the mouth or the teeth of the fish as well. You don't necessarily have to do this but I just like that it gives the fish a clean look when you do. And besides, I'm a fancy girl and I don't want my mom to come for me. <laughs> so the fish is already descaled and gutted but as you can see there are still some scales left on it and that's what I'm trying to scrape off with my scissors. So now that our fish is clean to our liking, we are going to rinse off all the scales and all the dirt from it. As ironic as it may sound, nobody likes a fishy fish, so we are going to clean it one more time with some lemons. The lemons will get rid of all that fishy smell and your fish will taste very pleasant, so our fish is now beautifully cleaned. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut my fish into my desirable portions. I'm going to fry this fish so I don't like to cut my fish into smaller portions but feel free to cut yours any way that you prefer. I've got two really big fishes here so I'm going to cut them into about four portions or three. After cutting them into portions, I'm going to rinse it off one more time and pat it dry with some paper towel. So now our fish is ready to be seasoned and I'm going to do that with my homemade all natural spice blend. I'm going to add just about half a teaspoon. All the measurements will be listed down below. I'm also going to add a little bit of some cayenne pepper, some ginger powder, and you don't want to overdo your spices, alright? That's some garlic powder and some black pepper. And finally, some salt to taste. Now massage the spices onto your fish, making sure that every corner of the fish is well seasoned, alright? So open up that slit at the belly and make sure that inside of the head is also well seasoned. Cover with some cling film and allow this to marinate for about 20 to 30 minutes if you have the time. In the meantime, I'm going to heat up some oil for frying. And just when the oil is about to get hot, I'm going to add in some onion, rosemary and some thyme. This will infuse some flavor into our fish. And now just before frying, you want to add a 2 teaspoons of some all-purpose flour on top of your fish and massage that in as well. We are not making coated fish, so don't go overboard with the all-purpose flour. 2 teaspoons is just enough. The flour will make your fish look very beautiful once it's done frying and it will also prevent it from sticking to each other whilst it is frying. Make sure your oil is hot enough before you drop in your fish. You want to keep your heat on a medium. After adding your fish, resist the temptation of turning the fish too soon. Allow it to fry for about 5 to 7 minutes before you turn. This will help the skin to firm up and prevent it from tearing. How long you need to fry your fish will depend on the size of your portions and your fish as well. But you don't want to over fry this else it's going to become very dry. Once the fish reaches this beautiful golden color, you want to scoop it out of the oil and set it on a plate to cool down slightly. I'm going to continue by frying the remaining of the fish. 
Make sure not to overcrowd your pot and give the fish a room to fry. So once you are waiting for all your fish to be fried up, you can keep the fried fish in your oven at about 60 to 100 degrees to keep it warm until everything is fried up. And once all your fish is fried up, it is ready to be used in your stew to be eaten with your banku, your kenke, your rice, or even with some salad. And there we have it. Our perfectly fried sea bream is ready to be enjoyed. Yes, I know everybody is going crazy about tilapia, but try this sea bream recipe and I know you will be hooked forever. Now just a look at how juicy and moist this fried fish looks on the inside. Boy, I hope you already clicked on that like button. <laughs> so until I come your way next time with another amazingly delicious recipe, remember that cooking should always be fun and exciting. So fry this fish with love and see it radiate through the hearts of your family. Thank you so much for watching guys and see you in my next video. Bye!